fucking do everything in the world to hope. Oh fuck, I don't I forgot what the fuck I was saying. I'm not starting this video over. This is the fucking third time and I'm taking whatever the hell I get, okay? I'm sorry if I'm cursing too much. That's just my filthy mouth. It's not my skin color. Sorry. Okay, so look, let's turn on this. Uh can you see me? Okay, you can see me, thank God. Thank the Lord. Praise Jesus. Um I know it's been a minute since I did a video, so I just wanted to kind of do one. I was having some problems with this cam recorder of mine. Um, I lost the charger, you know what I mean? And when you lose a charger, you usually can't film. So uh, I was able to charge up my camera and do a video because I just felt like I should do one because it, it was months. Anyway, um, so I did this song the other day, right? It's Let, let me do you here because I'm going crazy already because I hear the beat. It's like, it's sexy to me. It goes... I'll make the song. It's called No Pain. And I know I can't sing. I don't know why people tell me that all the time. I know I can't sing. <sighs> Maybe I can hold a note every once and again. It's just like, you know what I mean? Just like that. <laughs> okay. We're getting back on track. Okay, so I can't hold a note. But, like, what's the funny thing is, like, I actually have been getting mixed reactions from people. You know, most people don't like my music. They think it's weird, strange, and different. I'm fine with that shit. Everything has been weird, strange, and different at one point in time. And then it became the next fad. So I'm fine with that. But, um... Nobody understands what the song is about. And I'm not going to sit here and explain to you what the damn song is about. I think I gave enough hints in the song for you to realize what it was about. Because it's not about any person on the planet. It's not about a person at all. So, I mean, that's a big enough hint right there. But I love this song. And it's great. With that being said. <sighs> listen to the fucking song. <laughs> listen to the motherfucking song. Okay, so let me actually get to what I wanted to talk about now. Because I just felt like talking about myself. It makes my self-esteem a little bit better. Because it's so fucking low. It's really not now. I'm really, really arrogant. Really arrogant. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that's what happens in life sometimes. At any rate, so I was on uh, YouTube watching this video one day, right? It was Ricky Lake. I love Ricky Lake. I wish she was still on TV. She is sexy, too. One of my first crushes in life. So I was watching Ricky Lake, and it was about this interracial bullshit, like, uh, you should stay in your own race. And I'm like, what the fuck? You know, I, I was already appalled by these motherfuckers telling people to stay in their own race, being that they're Americans, and most of the motherfuckers are mutts anyway. It's a melting pot. God damn you. So, um... I saw this message from this dude, and he was like, uh, yeah, dude, all black people, I don't like black people because all black people are alike, and if you don't like what black people like, they don't like you, and I'm like, what the fuck? You know, I'm just, uh, I'm taken back, it's like, you know, like, it really was like that, it, it just really, like, touched my heart to see in 2009, it's almost about to be 2010, people still think like this, what, what the fuck, no critical thinking whatsoever, I thought it was ridiculous, and the person that said it was, like, fucking 19, so I really was like, you know what I mean, like, you were born in 89, 90, 90, you weren't born in 9, 89, excuse me, you were born in 90, you were born in fucking 90, come on, you were born in the fucking 90s, god damn you, brother, so look, I sent him a message back, and I was like, dude, come on, like, black people are not all alike, you know, um, black people like everything, you know, black people are different, you need to meet some other black people, then he said, <laughs> then he sent me a message, well, like, I live in the OC, like, that's any better, come on, it's the fucking Orange County, how many black people are in Orange County, to begin with, anyway, 
And he was like, I don't know any black people that like rock music. I don't know black people that like this and that and that. So I'm like, dude, dude, you sound so ignorant. Like, it makes no sense for you to say it. If you don't know, meet them. Look on fucking MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, those bitches. They're in the world. You know, just because you see 0.2% of the population on TV with shiny chains and bullshit doesn't mean that we're all the same. Now, I may have a bad mouth, but my bad, my bad, my bad, excuse me, but my bad mouth didn't come from me being black. It came from me watching Lisa Limpinelli. That's where the shit came from. It came from Kathy Griffin. Blame that white bitch. <laughs> She's not a bitch. I love her. She's so sweet. She's so sweet. Kathy, you are sweet. Anyway, um, so, you know, it made me think. It made me want to ask. It made me want to ask people. Excuse me. I fucked that up. It made me want to ask people, like, do you listen to rock music? If you're black, if you're black. I don't like the African-American term. I think it's ridiculous. Being that most black people are mixed with everything in this fucking country. Anyway, come on. We came here as slaves. And the ones that didn't come here as slaves, they still fuck white girls. Okay, come on. Let's go. My my great-grandmother, my great-great-grandmother, she was fucking a French immigrant. You know what I mean? Like, before, before my generation... Or, like, before my mom's generation, everybody's light skin was fucking green. I was all my cousins are fucking white and bright, and everybody thinks they're white, you know, because they're fucking almost white. You know, my grandmother, my great-grandmother spoke fluent French. Like, come on. Most black people aren't fucking Africans that are in America. They're fucking mixed motherfuckers. So they're blacks. There's nothing wrong with Africans. Africans are from Africa. But I'm not going into this whole black power of moving this shit, because that's not necessary. My question to you is, uh, do black people listen to rock music? Any rock music. Tool, Corn, Incubus. You know what I mean? Red Hot Chili Peppers, excuse me. Pearl Jam. Red Hot, I love Red Hot. I love fucking the Chili Peppers. They represent for the city, being L.A., they represent for the city. They put it down. And they love the people from the city. I love Chili Peppers. I fucking adore Tool. I love to. I love fucking Maynard. I fucking love Jonathan from Corn. Jonathan is one of the fucking most creative people I've ever seen in my damn life. I love him so much. Um, and this too. One more fact before I have to go because this is getting long. I thought it was hilarious when he said that because black people invented rock music. You know, the people that are idolized. I'm not knocking anybody. I'm not even saying any knowledge. But the people that are idolized as pop icons... Their music was from black artists. The music was from black artists. You know, they stole the music that they were singing. So how can black people not like something they invented? You know, for people, shit gets old. I understand that. But I know plenty of black people that like music. I think he needs to, you know, check his vernacular. And with all that shit said, all the damn talking I just did, my phone rang. So I have to go. I love everybody in this world. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, amen. It's Bone and Biggie Biggie. Listen to my song. Oh, that's the wrong song. I did that song too, but that's not the same. Let's listen. Can we get sexy on? It makes me want to rub my.